Hello, everybody, and welcome to our partner showcase, Fusion Suite Software. So as you guys are making your way in, definitely make sure that you go ahead and take the poll so that our esteemed presenters can know a little bit more about you because you're going to learn a little bit more about us. These questions include who's with us today, um, a little bit about your occupation, where you're from, and how you heard about this webinar. So go ahead and take that as you make your way in. And then I will, at the same time, introduce you to some of our ground rules for this webinar. So some of the ground rules for this webinar are that if you have any questions or any comments, um, if there's anything that you would like to know, please type your questions in the chat. There will be no ACV REP credits for this partner showcase and closed captioning is also available. I'm going to give you guys just a minute longer to go ahead and put your answers into the poll and then we'll go over the results before I introduce our presenters. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and end this poll and we're going to go over the results. So um, just for you guys, for purposes of knowing who is joining you today, uh, for our attendees and also to our presenters, uh, we ask the question, what is your job title? About 53% are teachers of the visually impaired. Uh, we also have some orientation and mobility specialists, about 24%. We have some vision rehabilitation specialists, some assistive technology specialists, college faculty or state administration. Uh, we also have a paraprofessional in here, and we have a couple of people who are other professions. Uh, in terms of people who are joining us today, we have 18% coming from the Northeast. We have 41% from the Southeast. We have about 18% from the Northwest. We have some people from the Southwest, about 12%. And we have 6% from the Midwest. And we also have some individuals from Canada. So welcome to this webinar. And in terms of how you found out about this webinar, a lot of people found out uh, through an email from APH. But we also have some people who found out through the website and social media. So we are so glad to have you guys today. And... While we have you, I would love to go ahead and present our presenters for today. So we can go to the next slide. Awesome. Okay, so first off, uh, we have a couple of APH staff here. So Justine Taylor, she is a product manager at the American Printing House for the Blind. She holds a master's degree in teaching children with visual impairments and vision rehabilitation from Western Michigan University. Justine is also a certified vision rehabilitation therapist and a former TDI and assistive technology instructor. So we are happy to have her today. We also have Rachel Bishop. Rachel is the product, uh, the Braille product manager here at the American Printing House for the Blind. She is also an NLS certified Braille transcriber. Her projects include Lego Braille Bricks, Building on Patterns, and Fusion Suite. And we have a couple of presenters joining us from Vespero. So Elizabeth Whitaker is also joining us. She is currently a product manager user education and outreach at Vespero. Her team creates product uh, documentation and training content so users can access the resources they need to increase productivity and proficiency. With over 20 years of experience working directly with individuals who are blind or low vision, Elizabeth has taught a wealth of assistive technology tools in both public and private organizations. She's also developed and implemented various accessibility initiatives and vocational programs for state government. Before coming to Vespero, Elizabeth managed to, the technology department at the Division of Services for the Blind in Arkansas. She also holds a master's in English from Southern New Hampshire University. And last but not least, we have Douglas Gary. 
Um, he is the National Director of Software Sales for Vispero. Douglas has spent more than 25 years working in the assistive technology industry. He made a change of career from uh, owning a restaurant in San Francisco after losing much of his sight in the mid-1990s. It was at this time that Douglas was first exposed to the power of assistive technology, specifically JAWS. He got his first start with Alva, uh, a braille display manufacturer, as a regional sales manager. He has since been a sales director for a video magnifier manufacturer and the general manager for an assistive technology distributor in California. Douglas credits assistive technology for much of his own personal independence and professional success. And over the years, he has seen how assistive technology opens the doors and fosters independence for many who are blind or vision impaired. Today, Douglas is proud to be part of the Sparrows team, where he continues to use assistive technology to reach his own professional goals. And by doing so, he hopes to make a difference for others. So welcome, Douglas. We are very excited to have you here today, as well as Liz, Justine, and Rachel. And to start this webinar off, we would like to uh, give our presenters a little bit of knowledge about what you guys currently know about Fusion, and we will be starting off with a poll. So just so they know uh, a little bit about what you know, please help us by answering the poll. The question is, rate your knowledge of Zoomtext, Fusion, and JAWS. So how would you rate that? Beginner, intermediate, advanced, or a pro? And I will give you guys about a minute to go ahead and answer the poll, and then we'll go over the results so that our presenters can know a little bit more about you guys. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll. Uh, so the question again was, how would you rate your knowledge of ZoomText, JAWS, and Fusion? And the options were beginner, intermediate, advanced, or pro. And we have 48% of people saying that they're beginners, about 48% of people saying that they are intermediate, and we have 5% saying that they're advanced. So we're excited to share some updates with you. And of course, uh, I hope that you end this webinar knowing a little bit more than when you began. So without further ado, I'm going to hand this over to Douglas, who will be starting with his presentation. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we're pretty excited about introducing this new product in our partnership with APH. It's the Fusion Suite. Uh, the Fusion Suite is... Uh, is all the products, uh, JAWS, Zimtex, and Fusion. And it gives students and teachers more flexibility in, in what they're going to use. They can choose to use JAWS, they can choose to use Zimtex, or they can choose to use Fusion. It's the first time this is available in our uh, APH partnership in so far as these annual one-year licenses go. And so... Oh. So next, we want to talk a little about, about it and why it's a little bit different than what was previously offered. So over the time that we've been partners with APH, we have, um, we, we've offered a couple of different things, when, but technology has allowed us to kind of change and grow uh, in how things are going to be offered. Uh, we started with just the plain JAWS, um, JAWS or, or sorry, the, the magic suite of products. And we've moved on to, since um, ZoomText has been part of Freedom Scientific, we moved to ZoomText as well. A couple of years ago, this project was started to introduce Fusion as a portal license or as an, academic, or as an annual license with APH. And we started out by first doing a lot of surveys, a lot of understanding of what's needed, what's expected, and in truth, how to streamline things and make it a little bit easier um, for, to support. Some of the things that we were learning was that people um, weren't always sure exactly which product was going to be best when they were ordering it because they had to um they had their students but they may not have had their um decided what what's going to work best for the students and so we would oftentimes get support questions about 
Um, how do I change from, I, I ordered JAWS, but now I need Zoom text. So to kind of simplify things and take cut down on some of those support needs, we, we introduced the idea of the Fusion license, where instead of having to worry about choosing one license or another, uh, the, the order could be put in just for a license. And then the choice could be made at the time that you're sitting down with the student to, uh, to decide what's going to work best for them. The other advantage to the Fusion license is that if you have a student that starts out maybe with Zoom text, but find out that the Zoom text isn't really working as well for them and they can't, they're not as productive with Zoom text and they could really use some JAWS, uh, now they can simply go into the portal and switch from Zoom text to JAWS. So it gives more flexibility in, in so far as what the product is. We did surveys with the EOTs and APH staff. And, and this was uh, with a combined effort, we came up with a solution of just offering a single product fusion for APH instead of individual products. The other difference is that instead of a single activation, the Fusion has two activations. Uh, the theory being that while they may have one product at school, they still needed maybe needed something at home. So with the two activations of Fusion, they can have a product for home and a product for school or, a, or two computers is what it comes down to. You say you get two activations. And what's nice about it again is Maybe you have a, a laptop at school with a smaller screen, so you want to use the Fusion product, but maybe you have a giant screen at home and you want to use just the ZoomText product, you can make that decision. So out of a collaboration of EOTs, APH staff, and Vispero people, we, uh, we came up with the Fusion suite and we're introducing it now. So um, Doug, again, oh, yes. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Oh, did you? I thought if you wanted me to show the video, or you wanted to? Yes, and I was just about to say, and and oh. Rachel's going to going to show a little video about about the introduction of this product. The Freedom Scientific Software Licensing Portal. is a useful tool for managing your product usage. With the portal, you're in control of your own licensing needs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can create an account with your email address, which gives you access to products registered to you. And it's easy to edit and update your user profile whenever you need to. But the real function of the Freedom Scientific Software Licensing Portal is product management. Select a product to view details, plus manage active licenses. Product downloads and activations are included in one step. And you can deactivate a license on one computer so you can reuse it on another. The Freedom Scientific Software Licensing Portal, your product management tool. Great. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> so just to kind of wrap it up, I, I know that uh, some of you are wondering why um, why we have the Fusion now and and that we... Uh, ultimately, we'll move away from the individual licenses. It's really just to streamline things, make it easier. Um, it's it's it, it creates less confusion. We again, we we spent some time studying this. We started this project two years ago, well, a little over two years ago now, and it's taken this much time to kind of make sure that we're doing the right thing. That we had the majority of the um, majority of the people thinking that this is the right move, and so here we are today, and we're really. Uh, confident that ultimately this is this is the right way to go and we're we're hoping that you enjoy it and thank you again for your time and coming in here today oh okay hey everyone um i'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about the purchasing process so if you're an eot if you're a tvi and you're wanting to purchase Fusion Suite, you can use quota funds um, to purchase Fusion Suite directly from the APH website now. So if you go to APH.org and type in Fusion Suite, there'll be a shop page that comes up and you can buy it easily from our website now. Um, 
and the purchaser, you will receive an email that has the license key and the instructions on how to distribute those licenses. So you can, you know, as the EOT, you can manage um, who, which teachers get those licenses and how many they get. And then the teacher can help the student, um, you know, activate their license and um, they will get two um, activations, one uh, for, for two um, different computers. So you can have one at home and one at school. Um, the Fusion Suite is also available to schools. You can purchase it without um, quota funds. So schools may purchase directly from APH um, as well. So just wanted to clarify that you can use quota funds or not. Uh, it's available directly um, um, from APH website. Um, the next slide is going to talk a little bit more about the license uh, purchase and renewals. So just like with the individual license, um, with the other products, it's the same one year license. It's not renewable. You have to purchase it every school, school year. Um, so if you have purchased an individual license, this will be good for the year and then you can um, switch to Fusion for the next school year. So that just gives you a little bit in, more information. Um, and then I will pass it to Rachel to talk about um, some teacher benefits. Yeah, teacher benefits. Um, so uh, one of the, the really good things about uh, this new product is that it's better tracking of the licenses for EOTs. So in the past, you could choose to order JAWS, Zoom Text, or Fusion, but only the individual licenses were available on the portal, not F Fusion. Um, so now Fusion is on the portal, um, and EOTs can better track where the products are allocated um, and how many they've distributed and sent out, et cetera. Um, also, the buying process has been streamlined. Um, so you, you can now order uh, Fusion directly through the APH website. Um, and um, we've also simplified uh, the teacher choices by, by eliminating the uh, individual licenses. Now your choice is, to, is Fusion, which is three products in one. Um, additionally, uh, activating the product for home and school gives your student more flexibility, saves them from having to buy a separate license for their home. Um, and the student isn't tied to one product. If they start with Zoom Text and then they need JAWS later in the year, they can activate it and you can help them do that or help them um, decide what they need. All righty, we are on to our next poll question. So uh, the question for you guys today is a true false question. And I will read that out for you guys so that you can know it yourself. So the question is true or false, new features in Fusion Suite Portal make it easier to manage student licenses. And I'll give you about a minute to answer. Alrighty, I'm going to end the poll. And again, the question was true or false. New features in Fusion Suite Portal make it easier to manage student licenses. And about 95% said true and 5% said false. The answer is true. Okay. 
All right. So now that we've done the polling question and we've talked about the benefits for teachers, let's talk about benefits for students. Now, we do have this on a slide, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because I want to walk you through just give you a high level overview of the portal. Let's just walk through what we can do on the portal as we talk about these benefits. Let me share my screen and I'm gonna also share JAWS here so that you will be able to hear what's going on. You'll be able to hear JAWS talk us through it. Screen sharing meeting controls. All right, let's go over here to the portal. Product details, freedom scientific product. So I am already logged onto the portal. Now, a lot of these benefits that we're talking about overlap. So, you know, Douglas mentioned earlier, we have three products. We have JAWS, Zoom Text, and we have Fusion. And so students can choose to activate whichever one they need. So I'm gonna press the letter H. I'm a JAWS user, so I'm gonna press H and navigate by heading. Product details heading level one. And I'm going to down arrow a couple times and let's hear what it says after product here. Product, FS Student Suite. All right, it says FS Student Suite. So that tells me that this is the product that we need. And if I down arrow again. Duration, 365 days from first activation. All right, so it's gonna last, as we all have already talked about, it's gonna last for a year. You're gonna be able to use it all year long plus during the summer. So now it's important to note here that 365 days from the first activation. So what this means is, let's say we have a student, let's say we have Meg and she is going to activate her license in the classroom on a computer. She, she wants to use Zoom text, but she also wants to activate it at home. If she activates it today on the school computer, then it's going to be, it's she's gonna be able to use it for a year from today. So I just wanted to make that clarification there. Serial number. And we also have a serial number. We're going to talk more about activation here in just a second. 40, 0, 1, 7, Freedom Scientific Volume Sales. So this is just a little bit of information about the serial number issued by. We could leave notes here notes. if we wanted to. Edit. Add notes button. Activate this computer button. So here we have a button that says activate this computer. So I've not actually activated it. So in order to activate the license on a specific computer, you're going to want to log into the portal on that computer. So let's go back to Meg, who is a Zoom text user. She's going to activate this in the classroom. So she's going to click on this or press enter or space here. It's going to bring up some instructions. She's going to be able to, to so activate this computer, select what product she wants, and then install it. All right. Now, as Douglas also mentioned earlier, we get two activations. So Let's say that Meg wants to install this at home, but maybe she's been a Zoom text user. Maybe her vision is changing and she's decided that she wants to learn how to use Fusion to help her transition. So she can activate at home and she can install Fusion. So you can activate your, your two computers. You do not have to use the same product. You can use a different product on each one if you prefer. And then let's say, a few months from now, Meg's been using Fusion at home and she's really liking Fusion. It's working well for her. So she goes to her teacher and says, I'd like to change from just using Zoom text. I'd like to be able to use Fusion in the classroom. She can change that as well. All right, so we have an activate button here. If I already had this activated, it would actually say deactivate. So it would show me the computers that are activated. Now, if I down arrow here, show all of my products button, zero of two installs detected. So I don't have any installs on this computer. I don't have any installs period for this license yet. So it says zero of two installs detected. If I had one, it would say one of two. And of course, if we had two, it would say two of two. All right, let's say that Meg gets a new computer at home. Maybe her computer stops working. She gets a new computer, but she's not able to deactivate the license that she had on her old computer. Well, that's okay because you can go into the portal, shows you your computers that you have activated and you can deactivate the one you're no longer using and then activate the one that you need. All right, so that is a high level overview of the portal. Now, I just wanna mention one more thing here as well. If a student wants to 
install this on their own and they do not have any assistive technology installed on their computer, which they may not yet, you can use Narrator or uh, Windows Magnifier. So you can run Narrator by pressing Control Windows Enter. You can run Windows Magnifier by pressing uh, Windows equal sign. So I just wanted to make that point as well. And with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Rachel. Let me stop sharing my screen here. Screen sharing me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, share. It's, we have talked about, um, we have videos that we, you can also use that can kind of show you what, what Liz was talking about. So I can show you quickly where those are. Um, and how you would get to those. Okay, so you are going to go to aph.org and type in Fusion Suite. Go to Fusion. Um, and then you can scroll down to training on the Fusion webpage, and you can see uh, we've got several resources. Uh, we've got a Freedom Scientific Teacher Training page for JAWS, Zoom Text, and Fusion, Fusion Suite video, the welcome video we showed earlier, uh, and then Activate Fusion Suite Student Suite with JAWS, Activate Student Software License. Um, and then there's also a link to an uh, APH Hive course. Um, do you guys think we have time? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll just show one. Uh, so this is the Activate Fusion Suite Student Suite with JAWS. How to download a Freedom Catch. Scientific Software License via the Software Licensing Portal. Firstly, you will receive an email informing you a software license has been allocated to you. Freedom Scientific Volume Sales Demonstration has allocated 1FS student suite licenses for order number 1398 for you to redistribute or use. You'll have the option to either register the license for your own use or to forward it to another person. If you are the person who will be responsible for this license, you should select the link indicating it is for your use. Otherwise, forward it to the email of the responsible party and they will be asked to register. Select Register this license for my own use. You will then be directed to the software licensing portal. List with one items. Register this license for my own use. Dot 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 link. Welcome dash freedom scientific licensing portal for just Zoom text and Fusion. As a first time user, you'll need to navigate to the link that says register as a new user and hit enter. Link please register as a new user now. Main region, please register as a new user now. Link, register dash freedom scientific licensing portal for just Zoom text and Fusion. Register. From here, you can enter your information into the fields. Be sure to use the email address where you received your portal link. Create a new account heading level two. Enter your email group. Email edit required. Confirm your email, then enter your first and last name, phone number, and address. Enter your password. Group password must be eight characters or longer, with at least one letter and one number. Now. Just create a password and select the register button. Register button. Registration. Main region. Heading level one. Registration confirmation. Please check your email to verify your email address and complete registration. Next, check your email to verify and complete registration. In the email, select the link that says, confirm your portal account here. Important. Unread. Freedom Scientific. Two, confirm your Freedom Scientific portal account. Thank you for registering to use the Freedom Scientific Software Licensing Portal. Use the following link to complete the confirmation of your Freedom Scientific Portal account. Link confirm your portal account here. Confirm email heading level 1. Thank you for confirming your email. Visited link please sign in now. Now you can sign in to be taken back to the portal. Once you do that, you are taken to the product details page where your products are listed. Product details heading level 1. Product. FS Student Suite. Duration. 365 days from first activation. Serial number 40-017-280. Issued by Freedom Scientific Volume Sales Demo. Notes. Edit. Add notes button. Activate this computer button. Select the Activate this computer button to activate the computer that you're currently using. Main region. Activate this computer button. File download notification dialog. Choose a product to install JAWS Zoom Text Fusion. A custom activation file will be downloaded to your computer. JAWS radio button checked. OK button. 
open this file when the download completes to continue to the activation. Download complete colon Liz WJAWS license activator .exe. Set up JAWS for Liz Whitaker dialog. Congratulations! This computer is now ready to be used with JAWS. Thank you for your purchase. Once finished, a message will display that your software license is now active on your computer. And if you need to download JAWS, ZoomText, or Fusion, you can visit freedomscientific.com and navigate to the Downloads tab to select the software you need. The Freedom Scientific Software Licensing Portal, your product management tool. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, so it looks like now we're back at the poll question. Awesome. So now we have another poll question for you guys. So I'm going to, uh, oh, nope, that is the wrong one. But having a little bit of technical difficulties on my end. Um, okay, so for you guys, we will launch the new features and functions poll. So select the new features and functions you will find in the Fusion Suite. The options are the user is getting three products in one, ZoomText, JAWS, and Fusion. The customer can activate whichever product they need. Uh, and then students can use the one license on two different computers. And I'll give you guys a minute to answer. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and end the poll and we'll go over the results. So again, the question was select the new uh, features and functions you will uh, find in the Fusion Suite. And about 23% said that the user is getting all three products in one. Uh, about 14% said that the customer can activate whichever product they need. And 18% said that students can use the one license on two different computers and 77% said all of the above. All right, I'll kick it back to you guys. Okay. All right, if you answered all the above, you are correct. Um, those are all things that you will get with the Fusion software. Access to JAWS, ZoomText, and Fusion, which is, you know, JAWS and ZoomText together, um, where, you know, Fusion is running both of those. Um, so you can have the screen enlargement and the key commands um, together with Fusion. So you get all of access to that and you can switch on to any computer. Um, you get two activation keys, so you can use two different computers. Um, so the, those were some of those uh, features and tools that you get. Um, and then we just have a slide here that talks about the, the price. So the Fusion Suite software, the, the price is $225, and you can use quota funds for that. Um, or you, you can, to reiterate, you don't have to use quota funds. You can just purchase it. Um, and that's the, the price. The, the price page. And I, th I think we have one more yep. poll. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have one more poll question. This is one that you guys can go ahead and type uh, your answers in this poll so that we um, can take your suggestions and also try to uh, mold new products for that. 
But also, um, if you are not able to, if you want to, you can type the answer into the chat. So um, I am going to go ahead and launch that. The question is, what is one software feature or tool you would add to Fusion Suite? So I will let you guys answer that and I will come back to you guys in a minute. Alrighty, I'm going to end the poll. And I can share some details with you guys. So what is one software feature or tool you would add to Fusion Suite? And we had somebody say that they don't have any ideas. We have somebody who said that they would love to see Audible. And uh, we had somebody else say that they would uh, love to see Fusion incorporate AI for helping the user with their questions. I'd like, I'd like if I may, to address that last bit, that last uh, suggestion. Yeah, absolutely. So be on the lookout. We actually have something for that coming up very soon. We actually, we demonstrated at the, at the summer shows, the NFB and the ACB show. It is a, a web-based, uh, what's called a chatbot help. And for JAWS users and Zoom text users and for Fusion users, you can, you can launch it, you can ask it questions and it'll come back with answers. So we, it's a great suggestion. Uh, and we've actually already incorporated that and you should see it very soon in the next release. And from a training perspective, there will be training coming up very soon on that as well once it is launched. And it's actually my favorite new addition to our products. Uh, I've been I've been using JAWS now for more than 25 years, and I will reach out to that thing to ask it questions because there's sometimes <laughs> I don't remember how to do things. I don't remember, like, how do I virtualize the screen? Because I don't do it frequently enough. And, and JAWS is so robust. It has so many things that it offers. I can't be, you know, we can't expect everyone to remember everything. So I've been able to go to that, uh, to the, the companion, the Freedom Companion, and type in my question, and I can have a conversation with it and ask it continuing questions. It's a super powerful way to help to help. And then if you're a teacher and you can't remember things, you don't you use it every day. It's a great way for you to get those answers and you can teach your students how to get the answers themselves. So, hey, Douglas, this is Sully. So, hey, so Sully. The, the AI is related to help with regard to, to JAWS. But if I'm a student and I'm studying the Revolutionary War, am I going to be able to ask uh, JAWS for five key points of what Alexander Hamilton did in the foundation of the country. Sure, you can ask, but it's not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to, to yeah. <laughs> but if you want to know how to use a certain feature, say of Microsoft Word, for example, because you need to format a paper or something like that, you can ask it questions about third-party applications. Right. Yeah. So if you if you can't remember how to turn on track changes or how to navigate track changes in Word, you can ask it questions like that. How do I navigate track changes with JAWS? So the learning goes outside of the assistive technology into the technology that the kids are using in some instances like Microsoft Word. That would even be like Excel and PowerPoint as well. Yes, it's, yes. it's what you're doing. And we're continuously building that because as you can imagine, it's what's called a large language model. You can imagine there's a lot of data to be built into it. Uh, so we're, we're, we're growing into psych like training. Um, Liz's team is always putting together new training materials. Uh, and with the 
uh, with the, the Freedom Scientific Companion, uh, we're doing the same thing, but it's it's pretty powerful. It's a pretty powerful tool for uh, for new users, for old users like me, and for uh, and and for those who just need to help somebody else. So again, this is something that this audience should look for sometime in 2025. Sometime in end of year. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. Better. So and some of the other AI, like our picture smart, I don't know if everyone's looked at our picture smart lately, but our picture smart is super smart now. Um, you can grab an image and ask for uh, what's what's in the image and a response will come back, but then you can ask questions about it. Uh, the other day I was I was sitting on my back porch and there were some turkeys that came into my yard and I took a picture and I shared it with a friend. And my friend said he pulled it up in picture smart and then started asking questions. How many turkeys or what's in the picture first? And I said, ah, there's some turkeys wandering around in a field. And then he asked other questions. What, how many turkeys? Well, you know, what kind of trees? And it's, it's super powerful. And you can do the same thing. Like I was, uh, there was a, a chart that came out recently on climate change over the last 450 million years. And that chart wasn't really accessible. So I grabbed that chart and I picture smarted it and started asking it questions. So really powerful. The AI stuff is, is going to be super helpful for those of us who are blind and vision impaired and needing get, to get better and more information. If you have uh, a chart or if you have a pie graph or if you have any kind of graph, you can use picture smart to identify the information. Uh, you get a PowerPoint presentation that's not been made accessible. You can use picture smart to, to get information about that PowerPoint slide as well. Super powerful. So picture smart is not just looking at photographs. It's, it can be used as a tool for learning as well. Liz, you any feedback on that? Yeah, I'll, the only thing I was gonna add to that is just one or, one or two more things quickly here. Uh, scientific diagrams, you know, mathematical diagrams, things like that. Another way that students can use it is if they are doing any kind of training or any any kind of uh, work in Zoom, for example, and someone is sharing their screen. And as a JAWS user, you're not going to get that information because it's it's an image. It's shared as an image. If you use Picture Smart AI, you can get all kinds of information about what's on that screen, what they're sharing. It's all kinds of information. So just a lot of different ways that you can use that. And you can go to our training site at freedomscientific.com forward slash training. We have a page where we talk about that feature. We have some training and you can reach out to us and we can point you to that. And we, you can also find the, the training page by going to the APH website, like Rachel was pointing out earlier. Yes. Uh, all those training information is found there. You can link right through. Uh, and Liz's team also puts together training materials specific to teachers, things that we, we believe are going to be helpful and been re uh, requested by teachers, for teachers, and that can also be linked through the APH website. Yes, that is exciting. I was gonna, I was gonna re uh, reinforce that point. So thank you about how you can um, get to the, the training resources um, directly from the, the product page. Um, on our website. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's very helpful going through there. There's all kinds of training and videos on how to use um, Zoom text, JAWS, Fusion, all of this uh, stuff we're going over is all training uh, videos there. Um, a couple of things I forgot to mention is um, if you budgeted for individual licenses this school year, you can still purchase those as usual. Um, the, and then the individual licenses will be discontinued at the end of December. So this school year, if you need, you know, an individual license, um, you can you can get it uh, on our website. Um, you can purchase it, a purchase order, or however you've done it in the past, you can go ahead and get your individual license until the end of December. And then it will just be Fusion Suite available. So, but Fusion and Suite I, is yeah. available. Oh, I'm sorry. Now yes. Well. <laughs> yeah. And I appreciate you bringing that up. And, and I know that there's going to be some consternation um, for some people 
but we uh, we did spend some time uh, doing surveys and studies and uh, you know we we you know we we want to be sensitive to those who have already budgeted out for their single licenses and APH is um, you know has made a decision and and you know we worked with them and their EOTs to come up with what we feel is the best product and the easiest product for people to order and to use. Awesome. Well, we are going to open this up for questions now. So all of you joining us from home, if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat and our presenters will go ahead and try to answer those for you. So we'll give that about a minute and... I mean, I think this would probably be a good time to say too that I think Liz will be coming back in December, right? To share yes. some things that will be yes. new with those solutions. Um, I'm right. sure you are ecstatic about that, right, Liz? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. More information to come and, uh, you know, check out that training page from the APH page, of course, for more info, but we will be demonstrating those new features as well in December. And we appreciate the support on on that. Yes, and more info to come on um on Liz coming in December. So we're finalizing a date now. So you guys can see all the really cool updates that they have planned for us that we keep alluding to here. But for now we don't have any questions, but I do have a question. Um so I'm obviously a Zoom to text user and um, I have never used Fusion before, and this isn't directly related, I guess, but I'm curious um, if you guys can explain how Fusion balances the screen reading and also the magnification when uh, they're both required at the same time. Liz, you want me to yeah. take this and maybe you fill in what I made? Sure, missed? sure. Okay. So as you know, Fusion is is really a way to uh, strengthen your productivity with ZoomText. So People who are using magnification, that gets to be six times, seven times, eight times, you know, eight times magnification is showing one sixty-fourth of the screen, which is equal to seeing one square of a checkerboard. So adding JAWS <clears throat> allows somebody to continue using their magnification while being able to navigate a little bit faster because they're using the keyboard. Just as an easy example, if you are a Zoom text user adding uh, JAWS and making Fusion and you go to a website where you need to log in, as a Zoom text user, you would use your mouse to push the mouse around the, the screen around to find the edit field. As a JAWS user, I hit the letter E to get to that edit field. As a Fusion user, you hit the letter E to get to the field. And not only does the, uh, the focus go to that edit field, but the screen scrolls for you. And so that a Zoom text user would still see that edit field uh, and be able to type it in. It's just another way to be be faster, be more productive with, uh, with your magnification. Uh, the Zoom text, uh, when you launch Fusion, Zoom text recognizes that JAWS is running. And so all the speech that may be available in Zoom text is, is uh, shut off in favor of JAWS. And all that navigation that those of us who are JAWS users use to, to get tasks done are available for you as a ZoomText user. Does that help you at all? Yeah, definitely. Um, that sounds like it would be a lot faster. Uh, is there like uh, a big learning curve to learning Fusion if you're a ZoomText user? Liz? I would say it's a matter of, well, a couple of different things. So when you run Fusion, you can run you can run it as Fusion, which is going to give you the interface that's going to include all of your magnification and speech settings in one place. Or you can run Zoom Text and you can run JAWS and you can run those you know, separately. So I would say uh, if you're going to be relying on the speech and on those keyboard commands, it's a matter of learning how to navigate using the keyboard. That's going to be your learning curve. But, you know, again, using fusion allows you to you know transition and to gain that functionality that Douglas was talking about and we do have you know training materials for that so 
And something else, um, so if you are a Zoom text user and you're accustomed to using the Zoom text, uh, and sometimes if you turn on the JAWS, it's got a lot of chatter and that chatter can be overwhelming. Uh, we have a feature built into, into Fusion where you can do what we call uh, 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 speech on demand. So with a keyboard command, you can turn on speech on demand and then you only hear JAWS when you ask it to speak by giving it a specific JAWS command. So with JAWS, if I want to read the title bar, I hold the insert key and I press the letter T for title bar. You can do that with Fusion. And so all the keyboard commands that you start to learn uh, without all the extra chatter as, as you start to learn. And so you're not overwhelmed by that speech. Oh yeah, yeah that sounds really nice actually. So I'll have to try Fusion at some point. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm a Zoom text user as well and a JAWS user and I use all of them and Fusion's really nice um, to kind of learn those key commands because Zoom text uses different key commands than JAWS. Um, so with Fusion, you know, you can still have your magnification and see where you're moving with key commands. Um, so it kind of helps you kind of learn the the new, uh, yeah. you know, keyboard strokes and stuff. But yeah, I I I think it's I think it's a, a really great idea to have all three in one place as a user that has to use multiple things for different tasks. I'm using you know all of those products <laughs> on my computer. So it's nice to be able to activate and have what I need when I need it. I want Just, a lot of things. One of the things to remember about being a, a computer user um, in JAWS, with JAWS is that most of the commands I do aren't really JAWS commands. Most of the commands I do are indigenous to Microsoft, uh, things that are already built into Microsoft. So it may seem daunting, all the different keyboard commands. But a lot of your keyboard commands are already built into Microsoft. And if you're a Zoom text user, you can be faster just by learning just those commands. You can find those by Googling, you know, Microsoft keyboard commands. And then you can, when you know when you're using a JAWS command because you're using the insert key for the most part. When you use the, the insert key, that's a JAWS command. Pretty much every other command is a Windows command. And we do have a feature called command search, which allows you to look up commands. So you know, Douglas, you said this earlier, and I completely agree with you. We tend to remember the keyboard commands we use most often. I know I do. Anyway, and so I'm constantly thinking, okay, what is this command? I haven't used this command in a while, so I can look it up using command search. And so, you know, you do have a way of getting to those commands that you don't remember. Nice. Well, we... Don't have any questions in the chat. Therefore, uh, we would like to wish you guys a really great day. And of course, thank you to our presenters, Rachel, Justine, Liz, and also Douglas as well. And if you guys are, you know, in the Southeast, stay safe during this uh, tropical weather <laughs> and uh, have a good rest of your day and week as well. So talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Yeah.